Okay, so I did a study of arachnophobic entomologists. And again, looking at the diversity of insects, the different morphologies, butterflies, um, yellow jackets, ladybugs, walking sticks, grasshoppers, bed bugs, you would think that an entomologist would just take a spider or take an insect, add two legs to it, come up with a spider and treat it just the same as an insect. But yet, people who work within the insects 40 hours a week still treat spiders differently. So I did a study of arachnophobic entomologists. The article was published in American Entomologist. And these people had to meet three criteria, consider themselves to be an entomologist, work with live insects, and have negative feelings towards spiders, either from mild disgust to full-blown arachnophobia. I use the fear of spiders questionnaire, which is a standard psychology questionnaire used for, to uh, wheedle out arachnophobia in people. It consists of 18 statements. And they're supposed to, you're supposed to score the statement from zero to seven, whether you agree or disagree with the statement and to what uh, extent. The score that you receive is the sum of the, the statements. So 18 times seven is 126, which is the maximum score. And scores above 80 are considered arachnopho clinical arachnophobia. 41 respondents uh, fill, were qualified for the study. And now you can see that most of the people had very low scores, meaning they just had mild disgust. But there were several arachnologists or entomologists who were in the clinical arachnophobia range. And to the one question, spiders is one of my greatest fears, five entomologists scored the highest score and there were scores of five and six as well. Now the things that, that the entomologists didn't like about spiders is the same thing that the general public doesn't like about spiders. Morphologically, they have many legs and they're hairy and they're dark. Um, behaviorally, the way they move, they're unexpected to show up uh, but well, they show up unexpectedly. They run fast, they're silent, which actually is the same thing that goes on with lots of insects, and yet they divide the insects and spiders in two different groups. Medical, the fact that they bite, I thought it was interesting that the fact that they might be dangerous was more important than they were, were dangerous. And from the aesthetic standpoint, they thought they were ugly and disgusting. And if you look at some insects, they're pretty disgusting and ugly as well. Luckily, no one took filthy as a, as a, a situation where they would consider insect, uh, spiders to be vectors of bacteria. To highlight some of the more amusing respondents, first entomologist scored 66 on the, on the scale. And her older sister used to torment her by when she was a single digit aged child, the sister would grab spiders in, in a tissue and, cr and crush them and then chase her sister around the house. She's a collection manager at a museum where she's in charge of insects and uh, in the spider collection. She, so she manages the spider collection. Dead spiders are okay, but live spiders are not. And she just walking into the spider collection, she gets the heebie-jeebies. And just filling out the survey creeped her out. The next entomologist had a score that was in the arachnophobic, was clinically arachnophobic range. She works with maggots. And she said she'd rather scoop up a handful of maggots with a gloved hand than to deal with a live spider. And her rationale for this was the fact that maggots don't sneak up on you and jump in your hair. The third entomologist has a lower score, but he has had arachnophobia his entire life. When he was a 40 year old, he drove around with paper towels in the front seat of the car in case a spider showed up on the windshield. A yellow sack spider did show up on the windshield. So he reached for his trusty paper towel roll and grabbed the paper towel and the spider disappeared by the time he got his towel ready. So the spider was gone. And then in a, in a moment of utter sheer terror, the spider reappeared, crawling on his face and up his nostril. He snorted with full force to the largest, this largest spider and pulled over without crashing. He then spent an hour looking for the spider in that van and, and concluded the the uh, comments with, this was not a good day. So even though P entomologists work with, work with insects their entire life, 40 hours a week for many years, they still treat spiders differently 
And so for these entomologists, two more legs makes a big difference.